Hello friends. This video is brought to you by MyWayTeaching.com. Let us start with the very interesting chapter on exponents and power. Let us start by understanding how exponents and powers are useful in expressing large numbers. We can easily read our first sentence, speed of car is 100 km per hour. But if we have to read the second sentence, we will read speed of a planet is 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 km per hour or we will take a while to convert it into 10 crores. But we have another easier method of writing it. We can also write it as 10 to the power of 8 kilometers per hour. Then our second sentence becomes speed of a planet is 10 to the power 8 kilometers per hour which is much easier for us to read. And later we will learn how it will make our calculations easier. Also from here on we should know that 10 will be called the base while 8 will be called the power or the exponent. And we shall read it as 10 raised to power 8. Till now we know that 10 to the power 2 means 10 multiplied by 10. Similarly 2 power 5 means 2 has to be multiplied 5 times. Now it's time to know what does 2 to the power minus 5 means. Without going into derivation, we would like you to know that 2 to the power minus 5 is equal to 1 by 2 to the power 5. Also, when we say 10 square, here 10 is the base and 2 is the exponent. When we say 2 power 5, then 2 is the base and 5 is the exponent. When we say 2 power minus 5, then 2 is the base and minus 5 is the exponent. To understand the use of exponent to express very small quantities, let us try to read the first sentence. We can read it as thickness of human hair is 0 0.01 cm. But if we are asked to read the second sentence, we will read it as the average diameter of red blood cell is 0 0.000007 millimeters. Let us try to use exponent and powers to express this very small quantity and make it easy. We can write it as 7 by 10 lakh. How we have done it is we have removed this point and counted the number of digits 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and moved the point 6 digits so that we have 7 by 10 lakh. This can be written as 7 by 10 to the power of 6. Now this can be also written as 7 into 10 to the power of minus 6. We have to remember that a to the power of minus m is equal to 1 by a power m about which we will discuss further. In general, we can say that if A is any non-zero integer,
and m is a positive integer then a to the power of minus m is equal to 1 by a to the power m and a to the power m comma a to the power minus m are multiplicative inverse that means if we multiply a power m with a power minus m we will get a power m multiplied by 1 by a power m and which will get cancelled hence we will get 1 so if we we can say that a power m and a power minus m are multiplicative inverse that means that multiplicative inverse of 2 to the power minus 4 is 2 to the power 4 and 5 to the power 2 multiplicative inverse will be 5 to the power minus 2.